Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over how to easily solo the 7 star Empoleon raid using a level 100 Delphox. So we'll go through the build first, just checking out summary here. So as you can see, obviously level 100 has a shell bell with a fire terror type to be able to easily deal big damage. The moves will use a skill swap to take away competitive from Empoleon and give it blaze, which obviously doesn't have fire moves so it doesn't matter. Flamethrower will be our big uh, damage dealer, Mystical Fire to knock down a special attack and save yourself, Nasty Plot to increase your attack so you can get more health back from the Shell Bell. So as you can see there, special attack and special defense with a little bit of health there for its IVs. Um, it's been, uh, sorry, EV, so it's been bottle cap trained as well, obviously, uh, and then a Calm by Nature to further increase that special attack. So first things first, when you're looking on the map, you'll obviously be looking for that ice raid. It can be annoying to find, but you'll see the symbol down here. Just head down to wherever your one is, uh, and then you can get on your way to getting that uh, Mightiest Mark and Polion. Cool. So just quickly, a little bit of a PSA. You do not want to have any Pokemon come in that do have Intimidate, uh, because what you're about to see will happen. Basically, when Intimidate goes off, uh, it will activate Competitive from um, Polion, and he'll get plus two to his special attack, and basically instantly wreck your raid. As you can see there, that Staraptor did use Intimidate. Um, basically completely ruins the raid almost instantly. That snowscape will always go first. And then as you can see there, he basically destroyed everyone uh, but the Delphox. Um, so there's no point. You may as well just keep resetting your raids. So here's the actual raid. Quick action shot of those speed dealer sunnies right there. Uh, he will always open up with a snowscape. As you can see, nothing incredible here from the NPCs. Um, just nothing that has intimidate is the biggest factor. Just keep resetting as much as you can until you get it. Um, you'll be able to easily survive this snowscape here. Won't do too much damage to you. And then a blizzard as well, you should be able to tank that too. Might take down some of your partners, but that's fine. Nothing bad with that at all. You want to open up the skill swap to take competitive away. It will switch it for the blaze, but because it doesn't have any fire moves, it won't be able to take advantage of that anyway. And that means that you don't have to worry anymore about those kind of special attacks. So basically after that, you will take a few hits. Uh, hopefully you survive that surf. The problem is if you get crit straight away, that's it. Um, so you do want to open up with a mystical fire here to take him down a level for your special attack to increase your survivability. So the main focus of this is to constantly be doing those attacks the mystical fire to be able to get your health back and lower his. Um, you will get knocked out the first time and that's fine. There's no stress with getting knocked out there. Um, it's basically going to happen every time. Then he'll put his shield up straight away which is what you want. So when you come back out the focus is really about getting him down, surviving and uh, getting those uh, basically into your terror. So as you'll see here, we go in with a nasty plot to try and increase the amount of damage that I'm going to be able to do to him and the damage that I'll get back from that shell bell. So as you'll see there, it does increase your special attack. Here you surf, hopefully you can tank it. This is another circumstance where if you do get crit, uh, it's probably going to be game over. Then you want to leave in the Mr. Fire to drop him again and get the health back. It's pretty risky in the start of it. Basically, once you get through here into your Terra, you're golden. Um, but until that point, you're going to be constantly hoping that he doesn't get a crit off with these Surfs. As you can see, Surf did a lot less damage then. So hit him again with another Mystical Fire. Just keep lowering it as much as you can while the shield's still up. Uh, and then you'll be able to hopefully get a big hit off. I don't think I got a single crit off during this time, which would really help for me. As you can see, we only just restored 13 health, which is super annoying. Um, got pretty dicey here for a second. I'm gonna hit him again, but this time with a Terra Mystical Fire. Basically, if you Terra and get knocked out, you may as well restart the raid, but this is pretty consistent. We've been able to smash through this and beat Empoleon a fair few times now with this build. It's super easy as well. Your focus is just on getting his special attack down while increasing yours and getting the health back from a shell bell. It's just more about the combination of NPCs you get and if you can survive any of those big hits. So another mystical fire there. As you can see, that was a nice chunk off. His special attack's down again. We got a good bit of health back there. 
Use a Surf again. That's basically the move he's going to consistently use. As long as you drop his special attack, you'll be okay. So using a Nasty Plot here again to be able to get a bigger hit off and get more of the health back to try and get out of this danger zone. There we go. Tanked another hit. So as you can see here, he is minus four, but you want to push for minus six. So hit him with another another mystical fire. There we go, super effective, obviously. Lower his special attack now, so that's negative five. Good chunk of health here back. So that was huge because of that increase from the nasty plot. That is really why you need it. So there we go, he's nullified our stat changes there, which means that our attack is down, which means we need to do nasty plot again. We nearly died there, that's what I mean about the critical hit. Nine health left is a huge risk, so that's why we went off with a mystical fire again instead of a nasty plot, just to see if we could tank this next hit. There we go, get a fair bit of health back. Still a massive risk, you've obviously lowered him. He hasn't reset his stats yet, which means his attacks are incredibly weak, but a crit will end it here, which is super annoying. He has nullified our stats again, which means a nasty plot is done. It needs to be back up again. There we go, hit him to get him to negative six. We should be safe here. Just trying to get some of that health back and survive. We did actually get a lucky break here where they take his shield down just before we get the hit off which is a little bit more helpful. Pretty close here again. Hit him with a flame card this time, try and get even more health back. There we go, good chunk. That should increase us enough that we're kind of out of this danger zone. Maybe one more big hit and we'll be okay. Shield's finally down with a huge delay that they've still not fixed. Iron defense doesn't really matter because it increases his normal defense and we're special attacking, so that's no problem there at all does use Surf again, but as you can see, he's basically doing no damage at this point. A bit of a misclick there. <laughs> Hit him with a Nasty Plot before we go into the Flamethrower, just to kind of get off a little bit more damage again. Is uh, There's no real straightforward plan for this one. It's more of kind of countering what he does to you rather than going, okay, on turn three, turn four, you're doing those things. Hit him with a the Flamethrower there. That was a huge chunk. Massive bit of health back now as well. There we go, now we're out of that danger zone. Should be super easy to be able to survive the rest of the fight. As you can see, we still have a fair bit of time left. Did hit us with another strong surf. There we go, another mystical fire. Just to lower his stats, so that was a big hit there. That'll give us a big chunk of health back. There we go, use a Surf again. He will start to do some double attacks every now and then, so he hit us with Flash Cannon, but that does absolutely nothing. Not very effective, and we have lowered him. Hit him with a Mystical Fire again. There we go, and as you can see, we're pretty safe now in this raid. If you follow this pattern, you'll be able to take him down pretty easily. He is actually a really annoying fight, so it's nice to have a Pokemon has a fairly consistent uh, way to take him down. A lot of the things I've seen online aren't really doing it so far. There we go. Take a big hit there. Apologies if you could hear the police car going past. Friday night guys, come on, what's happening? There we go, he got burned. That's super helpful as well. Getting that health back. Should be super simple. Basically, once you've got the shield down, it's a really easy fight, but this is the easiest method I've seen so far. Uh, it seems to be spreading around the internet a fair bit now. Um, this raid was quite difficult. It has taken people a while to get it. As I saw the Austin John video, still struggled to take him down. This is the best I've seen so far. Um, and just lucky for me that I had a shiny Del Fox that was waiting for its appearance to flex on some people with this. Um, hopefully you found this super helpful guys. We should be able to take this out easily now. Grass Knot does absolutely nothing. If you have liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. We're starting to get into some raid videos, but we do focus on shiny hunting, as you would see. Uh, if you want to learn to shiny hunt, we have plenty of videos there. Um, or if you're into the Pokemon TCG, we also have that as well. The new set is out now, the hidden uh, not hidden fates, oh my god. The Paldean fates, the shiny Pokemon from Scarlet Violet, obviously, which we're on now. 
Um, yeah, so if this video has been helpful, guys, please leave us a like and subscribe. The channel's really growing at the moment, and it really helps us out. Um, we hopefully you can guys can easily get through this raid now with this build. Definitely going to catch Empoleon in a dive ball. Super simple. Looks really nice. There we go. Perfect. And there is the capture finally. Seven star Mightiest Mark Empoleon. Done. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.